In the year 20XX AD, the world is at peace thanks to Mega Man. Dr. Wily's fourth attempt at world domination has failed and his name has once again faded from the minds of the citizens of the world. A few months later, uh oh. Who did? So you are the famous Mega Man. I am Terra, and you will soon be my slave. Bam. Why is Mega Man wearing short shorts? Oh, my weapons do nothing. Oh, snap, son. This is some next level shit. What? My Mega Buster has no effect on him. A few hours later, the world was attacked by warrior robots from space. Blink, 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 blink. Where am I? Dr. Light found Mega Man and equipped him with the new Mega Arm, the most powerful weapon ever devised. Like, better than a nuke? Why have the star droids come here? That guy kind of looks like Zero from Mega Man X. And that's how World War III started. All right, guys. Jonathan here for the Blue Wizard Project coming at you with Mega Man 5 on the Game Boy. So uh, I actually have never played any of the Game Boy Mega Man games, um, from what I hear, they're passable to kind of bad. But uh, I decided not to play any of the other ones because, one, I already have a lot of Mega Man games on my plate for the Blue Wizard Project. And uh, two, sorry, I'll skip through this uh, so you guys can hear me. Uh, and two, all of the other ones are just kind of rehashes of the um, bad guys from the other ones. So, like, Mega Man 1... On the Game Boy, from my understanding, has bad guys from Mega Man 1 and 2. Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy has it from 2 and 3 on the NES, and so on and so on. But this one's like its own individual game, so I decided to play it. Um, I've never played this one before. I have no idea what's in store for me. Um, never tried it before, so we'll see how it goes. Um, as I always do at the beginning of every video uh, for a new game... I'll do, give you guys a quick recap of what the Blue Wizard Project is. Uh, Blue Wizard Project is a um, kind of gaming challenge that my friend Ian and I have set for ourselves uh, over the course of 2017. We'll be playing through uh, Mega Man games and Castlevania games. I'm playing through 31 Mega Man games. He's playing through 30 Castlevania games, as well as some monthly events uh, that we do uh, from time to time that you can see on our Facebook page. Um, what we're doing is while we play through these games, people will donate money to us uh, either through our PayPal or directly through um, the website of the Mid-Ohio Food Bank, which is what this fundraiser is for. So um, all the money that we raise, 100% of it goes to the Mid-Ohio Food Bank to help families in need in Central Ohio. Uh, our goal is to donate $1,000 for this year on top of the 700 plus that we raised last year. Uh, and so far we're making good progress on it. So. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, let's get into the game. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Mega Man 5 on the Game Boy. <clears throat> the screen's going to be a little bit stretched out because of the emulator I'm using. 
Um, obviously, I don't have a motion cap or a video capture original Game Boy. Um, I did purchase all the games that uh, I'm playing through uh, for this uh, project. So I do actually physically own this game. Or I think this one I digitally own, maybe. Um, but obviously, I couldn't stream it. So using an emulator, I know it's kind of a dirty word. It's kind of a legal gray zone. So hopefully, nothing bad happens because of that. So we'll see. But I do own it. So if you're watching Capcom, I gave you your money. Don't get greedy. All right. Uh, let's see. Mega Man, our world is once again in chaos. The alien robots call themselves Star Droids and have conquered most of our major cities. There's a good grammar there. They are constructed of alien material, which render our weapons useless. But I have done some analysis and constructed a new weapon for you. It will replace your super mega buster. I can shoot my hand. It is called the mega arm and it allows you to charge energy in your fist before you fire it. I feel like that'd be less effective than a gun. Like, oh, you can throw your fist. I've also created a new assistant for you. It's a cat, so it hates you and is ambivalent to whether you live or die. His name is Tango. I'll enhance this item replicator to make powerful items for you. Collect as many P chips as possible and return to my lab to exchange them for power up items. Good luck, Mega Man. Yeah, whatever, bro. I'm out. Alright, so I literally don't know anything about any of these guys. Um. I should have probably looked up the order for them. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, jump on the internet real quick on my phone. And I'm going to look at the boss order um, just because I don't have time to play through these guys. And uh, I'll be right back after I find it. So BRB. Okay, so I'm back, guys. Here's the problem. I found the boss order, but... I don't know what any of these guys' names are because it doesn't show up on right here. So, uh, let's see how this goes. I'm supposed to be fighting Mercury first. Um, I'm going to guess this is Neptune. I'm going to say this one? Let's see. Is it going to tell me his name? I kind of like these intros of Venus. Okay, this guy's Venus. I'm going to make a small note of that for myself, because if I die, I'll switch stages. Um, yeah, but so far, like, even though this is a Game Boy game, it looks pretty sweet um, as far as graphics go. Uh, I don't like this fist thing. It's kind of weird. Um, but, yeah, graphically, this looks pretty impressive. Like... Obviously, it's being played on, like, a Game Boy Color emulator. Um, but, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good so far. Like, the character models are cool. Those little, like, boss intro things looked way cooler than they did on the NES, which is saying something. Uh, screen's a little bit, like, pulled in, obviously, because of the size of the Game Boy screen. I really do not like this fist instead of the Mega Buster. I get used to it. The game plays a bit slower uh, from what it feels like. Like there's a bit of lag. Okay, I can slide. That's good to know. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, that's a crab, I guess. It's, the picture's kind of distorted because of the fact that I'm playing it on full screen for your guys' sake. Um, so hopefully that doesn't affect the gameplay too much. Oh, no, 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 no. Oof, that was close. Alright, let's do this. Jump! Song's not bad. 
Uh, I like the uh, blue and purple color scheme here on the Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color. That's the thing about like these older games. Like it's really impressive. Are, are you kidding me? Um, it's really quite impressive the stuff that they were able to do with such limited technology. You know. Um, Sorry, I keep like sniffling and stuff. That's because I am getting over a cold. I apologize about that. I know it probably sounds really gross <laughs> to you guys when you hear me doing that. Oh, I should have doubled back. I thought I could keep sliding. <clears throat> that was a bad move. I don't really get. Is this guy like a bat or an owl or. Can I go down this way? Yeah, I don't really see what the point of giving the like shooting fist thing was. Like it doesn't even go across the whole screen, which is kind of irritating. Wow, well, this guy's gonna mess me up real bad here. There we go. I don't know what those E's are for. I don't know if that was health there. Get up there. Oof. Oh, this is a death trap. Why did I go in here? Yeah, so far it's not as bad as I thought it would be, but we'll see once I get to some of the bosses. No, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't. There we go. Alright. Floor is squishy. I don't know how to super jump on this. I know I was jumping higher before, but I don't know how I was doing it. Not that way. Hold up? Yeah, that's it. Nice try. Alright. A lot of lag here. See, like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, why give me the... Ah, oh, this stupid fist. I hate it. I hate this weapon. That's the only thing I'm, I know is going to irritate me in this game. I mean, not the only thing, and there could be a lot of things that irritate me, but it's one of the things that I know is going to irritate me a lot in this game. And I can slide over that? Slide, yep. Ooh. I do not like this one bit. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, it made me stand up before I got through it. I'm not sliding as far. These levels feel kind of long. Maybe it's just me, but... Wait, I'm starting all the way back here? This is bullshit. Alright. Let me try to speed this up. I don't know what the P chips do. They must do something, because they said to collect them. Not gonna waste my time on that guy. Alright, 
Let's see here. sneezed not just talking to myself all right um let's see about to die without even getting to the boss come on let me wow this is really annoying there it goes oh I don't like this I don't know what happens if I'm standing there when that Falls, but I'm assuming nothing good. They are really stingy with the health drops in this one, man. I will tell you that much. So I'm basically going to have to try to farm health here because otherwise I'm going to this guy with literally one shot. So I will try to collect some health and then I'll see you guys on the other side. Alright guys, so here's what happened. I tried to farm health and uh, he kept jumping to the right. So I got uh, in the rhythm of just running to the side, jumping up and shooting him. And uh, then one time he jumped to the left and landed on my head and instantly killed me. So um, that was Venus Man stage. <laughs> uh, I think I said I was looking for Mercury, so let's see if this is him. I don't know if it's going to go in order. I don't think so, because like that dude looks like Neptune. This is Mercury, so... This is the first guy I have to beat. And then uh, I believe Neptune was the second. Uh, yeah, Neptune, then Mars. And then Venus. So I won't go back to that stage for a while, but. Damn it. The thing that sucks too is once that arm is shot, um, you can't shoot again until you get your arm back. I almost hit that spike there. I don't like that. Alright. I'm assuming I have to fall down that cliff, but... Oh, nice. Oh, why you gotta be like that? Okay. Oh, are you kidding me? I hate when they do that! Uh, I have a feeling this one's gonna be pretty hard, because so far, um, I haven't seen a single extra man drop. Very little health drops, even of the small kind. Um the weapon as i've said seems like it might be problematic um oh that was bullshit i hit jump and it made me do that little hop i don't know if you guys saw that 
Alright, uh, I'm just gonna kill myself so I can get my lives back because there's no point in continuing on like that. Alright, let's try this again. Um, yeah, that's what the game over screen looks like since I skipped ahead of it last time. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, like I said though, they, the music is kind of cool in this game. And again, visually, it's a lot lot better than I thought it was going to look. I was expecting it to look like really crappy and be kind of hard to see what's going on. And it is a little bit busy, but not, not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, or um, not nearly as uh, hard to make... I was not hitting right there. I don't know why it pulled me over to that side. Damn it. I, w I don't even think my finger was on the joystick at that time. Like, I jumped through the center and then let go, but we'll see. This might take me a while to get through this one, guys. Maybe as long as it takes me to get through Ikaruga, which is still a thing I have to do. Oh, I'm going to hit it. Oh, nope. I don't know why that time it was fine. Oh, this douche. There you go. Oh, what? Oh, that almost got me. Teleporting dude, huh? Oh, you dick butt. the hell? How am I supposed to get past that? That guy's a dick. Alright. This guy again. So I'm gonna have to like drop down, shoot his head, and then jump on the ladder and then hope I can avoid that wheel afterwards. I don't know if I can climb up. Nope. Alright. Uh, I've noticed that I say alright and stuff like that a lot in these videos. So um, that's not going to change. So now that you know that, it's probably going to annoy you as much as it annoys me when I watch the videos to edit them. garbage. Did I hammer on that guy's head? Wow, these stages are so long. Well, that's kind of a dick move, putting that spike trap there. that extra man so I gotta go for it. Whew. Oh man. I do not like this but I kind of think I'm gonna need that E-Tank. Damn it! I knew that was gonna happen. How far back is it gonna start me? I should have just left it. I shouldn't have gotten greedy. I should have tried to make do without it. Man, this game is unforgiving. It's like you have to have that like perfect 
Oh, okay. When you're sliding, if you hit up, you'll stand up. Which I don't think was the case in other Mega Man games, so that's how you get that E tank. So I'm gonna try for it. Lesson learned too late. Wonder if there's anything if you walk sideways there. Nope. Alright, so. I need to kill this guy. Stand under that guy so I don't get hit by this. Never mind. Oh, oh my god, that was so close. Oh my god, that was close. Alright, let's see if I can do this. I have a bad feeling about this, guys. <sighs> Hopefully you keep those, because... Uh, just slid. Oh god, that was close. this guy. Damn it. Well, finally made it to a boss. Turns <laughs> like a blob or something. Oh. Oh. Oh, is he gonna like, yeah, he's gonna like be like a mini yellow devil. Oh, that's not good. See, this is the garbage I'm talking about. I need to just not charge. Oh, that was dumb. Damn, I need to time that space that jump out. Okay. Man, I'm really bad at that. This one's not so hard, it's the other one that's difficult. There we go. The nice thing is, is that if you hit him, he doesn't shoot. I guess I could charge up if I know. Oh, that was my bad. Shit, 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 shit. Just hit him. Got him. Nice. One down. <laughs> That's an interesting sound effect for that. <laughs> All right. Like this stuff looks cool. Like, I don't know. Like this looks, in my opinion, cooler than it did on the NES. Like, um, so that's kind of impressive. I think this might have been made later than some of the NES ones, but. And it shows you what the move does. Oh, that's kind of cool. It, like, steals stuff. And I was I noticed that, that when I got hit, one of those P-chips flew off of me. So, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Um, button, stage select. 
Let's see what happens if I go to the light labs. Oh, Mega Man, did you bring back the pea chips? Select the item you want. Collect four of these and you will earn an E tank. You need 20 pea chips for this item. Do you want this item? No? What is this? This is a power up item for the Mega Arm. Once installed, you can grab and attack the enemy over and over. You'll need 100 P chips for this. Okay, I'm going to say no on this one. Let's see what we have here. This is a power up item for the Mega Arm. Once installed, you can grab an item from far away. <coughs> that might be useful. See what else there is. You can totally recharge your energy level and all of your weapons with this item. That's cool. What's this? This item, the weapon with the least amount of energy, will be refilled automatically when you pick up a weapon capsule. That's going to be super useful too. Um. Extra man, how much is that? 50. That must be why they're not dropping so much stuff. Um, all of your weapons filled. E tank. No. I think that one fills your weapons. Yeah. Alright. Um, I think I'm going to go with the... I feel like I should buy these ones first. And then afterwards get this one. So I think I'm going to go with this one first. Yeah, I'm going to go with the grab the item one first. All right. Are you finished? Yes. All right. So that's kind of cool. So worst case scenario, when I get to the end, I can just like grind out for lives and for um, items. Um, next is Neptune, which I'm assuming is this guy, because he looks kind of under the sea-ish. Yep. Called it. Again, cool intro stuff. Uh, I'm going to try to beat this level, and then I might call it a day after that, because this game is taking significantly longer than the other Mega Man games to finish. Uh, fuck you. No, leave me alone. There we go. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you can't, like, charge up to shoot far away, guys, which is annoying more than it is helpful, Dr. Light. I forgot I only have one life. I should probably just kill myself, although this guy's probably going to do it for me. There it goes. There's that item grab. Ooh, this guy's definitely going to kill me. Uh, leave me alone. No, I can't even hit this guy. Yep, I'm dead. <sighs> this game is way harder than I anticipated. Okay, let's try to go through this stage again, this time preferably without dying. Why is this not doing any damage? Oh, I guess he has to stand up. Oh, that's cool. If I do use my charge attack and it happens to kill him. Ooh. Nope. Can I just run past him? Sweet. Can I just run past this guy? Didn't think so. Didn't think I'd get that lucky. There 
거예요. 아, 이때 이렇게. 해면 shit this guy is flying too high and it's annoying come on at least give me a chance to hit him It's like really rough when they don't drop health items, you know? Damn it. Fuck! I need to just play it like Mega Man 1. Like, in Mega Man 1, you don't have the Mega Buster, right? So, like... You have to make do with just the regular shots, and I need to just play this game as if it were that way. I say as I charge it up to kill this guy, because this guy's a douche. But like for regular enemies, I need to just play like I don't have a Mega Buster. The other thing too is like uh, I've been playing through the NES on the uh, NES games on the Mega Man um, Legacy Collection, right? Like I just finished that, and uh, those ones actually you get a uh, rapid shot, rapid fire shot, because um, you can set it to behave as if you were using a turbo controller. Damn it! I knew that was gonna happen. I'm gonna die at this guy. And if not at this guy, then immediately after him. No, 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 no. God damn it. Come on. I wish that there was, like just some kind of item drop rate at all like instead of these pea chips like the pea chips are cool for the um damn it i did the same thing died at the same spot um i'm just gonna i don't know i'll go through it again i'm not gonna do anything um yeah like the pea chips are cool for like e-tanks and stuff yeah where was that when i needed it last time but, like, it's kind of garbage since it takes away your regular healing items. Which, this game is kind of tough, so you need them, but... Man. I should just get this guy to stand up so I can run past him. Yeah, there we go. That's easier. Oh. Those guys are kind of garbage that they don't drop anything as well. I mean, I kind of get why they did it this way. It's because, like, you know, it's a Game Boy game and you got to squeeze as much replayability out of it because I'm assuming this game isn't that long. I'm going to shoot and then wait for him to get up and then run past him. Happen. Damn it! I meant to jump, not slide into it with my face. Shit. 
couldn't have hit him one thing before then. Oh, thank God. Even though it's just a little tiny bit, and it'll help. I made it farther! Shit. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Damn it. Wasted that health there. Like, clearly they knew that last part was bullshit if they're giving you health here. Yeah, that's... Oh, damn. Oh, that was kind of cool, though. Like, oh, you shot the pipe. What were you thinking? There's liquid in there. Oh, this, this is not good. Yeah, I shouldn't have stood there. Oh no. Oh, okay. I mean, that's kind of cool that it does that, but also not cool because I don't want to take extra damage. No, fuck you. Fuck you. No, oh, leave me alone. Fuck! Damn it! <laughs> this game is really hard, guys. Uh, Alright, I'm going to try to get back up to that place. I'll skip you guys ahead to where I was. So, Alright, guys. I'm back to where I was. So this is another thing that's bullshit. Is like, they make bad guys that take a ton of hits to kill. And then they make them explode in a way that hurts you in very tight quarters. Like... I'm like, this game is just unforgiving, man. Alright, let's see where I gotta go. Stand here. And go down. But it's kind of cool that they, I mean, again, not good for me, but cool that they have these, like, environmental effects, right? Like... Oh, you shot the wall where there's a pipe, so, like, now steam's gonna burst out at you, or, like, water's gonna shoot out, or... Oh, shit. Okay, I wonder if I can jump across, or if I have to do that from up there. Let's see here. Alright, let's try from here. Nope. Okay, I got that. So I have to go up higher, I guess, to get the extra man, which I'm going to get, because take every advantage this game will give me, because it is not easy. Got it. Alright. I almost walked into that smoke there, or steam, rather. Alright. Take your time. Go through it. Don't rush. I should also check what Tango does. My replacement for Rush. Oh, that's going to hurt. Just jump. Good. I've never been so, like... Obsessed with getting the small pieces <laughs> of health in a Mega Man game. Okay, just checking it's not gonna have. Oh, wow, it is really floaty, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Mmm! Eh! Let's go away. That's a break spot. Okay. <coughs> Spend one life to see what his pattern is, and then go from there. Okay, so he's a jumpy guy. Just gonna drop some liquid from the roof. Oh, that's 
bullshit, it kind of sticks around for a little bit. Oh, shit. Was not expecting that. This creates quite a bit of lag and also makes it a little bit hard for you to jump. Oh, shit. Got him! Nice! So this is the thing, the levels are kind of hard, um, and honestly a little bit on the bullshit side sometimes. Um, the bosses, so far, have not been that hard. Like, once you learn their pattern, they're fairly easy to get through. Um, and like, the jumps haven't been super cheap or anything yet. Granted, I've only fought two of them. And I think there are eight of them. I'm not positive. I think you do four and four. But um, just because that's typical Mega Man fashion, you know. But who knows? You got salt water. <coughs> All right, guys. Uh, let's see if I can buy anything from Dr. Light. And then I'll call it a day. Uh, no, don't have enough. Oh, Mega Man, did you bring back the pea chips? I don't want that. Yeah, it's finished. Alright guys, I'm going to call this a wrap for my first video for uh, Mega Man 5 on the Game Boy. Thank you guys so much for watching, uh, for following along. Uh, again, this is a first time experience for me, so it's kind of cool seeing a new Mega Man game, basically, for me. So, cool stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much. Please remember to like and subscribe. Please remember to follow the Blue Wizard Project on Twitch, on Facebook, and on YouTube. I'll have all that stuff linked below if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, thanks again to everyone who's donated, everyone who's followed, everyone who shared, liked, all of that stuff. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. Please get the word out for the Blue Wizard Project. Uh, if you have any extra funds, please donate. Uh, even one dollar goes a long way. For every dollar you donate, the Mid-Ohio Food Bank is able to buy ten dollars worth of groceries. So what might seem like an insignificant donation to you, seriously, a dollar uh, making ten dollars worth of groceries, that's at least one meal uh, for a family. So please, 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 if you can, give. If not, uh, follow and get the word out. So. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Again, this is Jonathan for the Blue Wizard Project. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.